to the further process why it moves temporarily i mean means because if the process fails what the data will do it have to again return back so that's why we have drawn here two arrow marks that it should go if this process fails again it moves there again it uh, uh, it loop like looping continuously the process uh, again and again it does so that's why i am telling that it stored permanently but it moves temporarily if it is true it moves to further control unit and we the user gets the desired output if the problem it has some problem means it again moves to memory unit again for the process it will come so that's why i'm telling temporarily it moves but permanently stored here only all the data that is memory unit and that's why we are calling it as important hub and that's why we are doing two arrow marks so now we have completed central processing unit it's the brain of the computer memory unit next we will see ale arithmetic logic unit it performs operations here what the operation takes place like as i am for instant i said you know 9 plus 9 likewise i gave a data by the user means it is an uh, logical mathematical problem so this alu it really helps to perform to get the desired output arithmetic and logical unit alu it is the unit where all arithmetic operations rather like addition or subtraction it takes place and also logical functions also arithmetic operations means they, they have mentioned it's like addition subtraction what is this logical functions means true or false you have to find whether this statement is relevant to that or else uh, if any data like a uh, oh, mark uh, likewise they give means it's, it belongs to male or female so likewise so these were called as logical functions so this which performs all these logical functions the alu called arithmetic and logical unit like true or false male or female or performed once the data are fed into this main memory from input device they are held and as needed to the alu where the processing takes place no process occurs in primary storage so remember this line is very very important and this is a very where you have to be in the conscious side because no process occurs in primary storage means what is the primary storage they mentioned here memory unit no you have to be very clear that here no process takes place just simply all the data and informations are stored that's why it is called important hub that's all that's all that is the uh, uh, that's why it's called memory also it stores all the data and information here nothing no process takes place in the memory unit all the process for the particular data and information takes place only in where arithmetic and logic unit only so that's why in this line they mention no process occurs in primary storage and intermediate generates an alu will be temporarily placed in memory until it is needed and data may move from primary memory to alu and back again to that storage many times before the process is finalized so until the process condition is true likewise in programs we seen until the process if 9 plus 9 means what will be the answer 18 so until this 18 answer i get the desired output if something went wrong means again it moves to the memory unit it will be stored there and again it will come to for further process so likewise it again goes go back and come that's what they told in this line it again come back and it can store many times also it can come until the process is finalized so this is the work of what the alu adavu the arithmetic and logic unit so now last uh, the process the box what we are going to see now is control unit it is called central nervous system they mention so what is the work of the central nervous system means all the information that is stored it checks again actually uh, in alu itself if the process is only true if the answer was correct means only it will further move on to this control unit and here it again checks recollection it again checks whether all the information is correct whether all the all were in procedural uh, form where all were in uh, correct uh, answer whether the desired output is good everything it completely thoroughly checks so that's why it's called central nervous system so 
I, the user gave a particular uh, data or information with the help of the input devices. It moved to where central processing unit. It read and executes. That's why it's called the brain of the computer. It goes into memory unit and it's stored there permanently. In the, that what that is what in the computer. You see the computer. All the data and informations were stored permanently in this memory unit only. and it moves to the further process that is alu arithmetic logic unit here you can perform arithmetic operations logical operations like like such like and if the process will be until the process is finalized it just goes and go back and come again and again until the process is finalized once the process is finalized it moves into where control unit that is called central nervous system now we are going to see the definition for this only control unit control unit it acts like central nervous system and ensures that information is stored correctly and the program instructions are followed in proper sequence as well as the data or selected from the memory or necessary like an uh, order uh, like an uh, um, we can um, compare this control unit with uh, the teacher uh, they will the invigilator they will mention in exam hall that whether or uh, every student write their register number properly in the left side of their uh, answer sheet whether they shaded uh, correctly in the omr likewise an invigilator used to check in the exam hall to all the students paper likewise this control unit just checks it confirms whether whether all the information is stored correctly whether it, the program instructions followed the proper sequence and the data was selected or necessary uh, that uh, that it should go into the which means this necessary data only should be shown in the output uh, likewise it will check which will check control unit will check it also coordinates all the input and output device of the system coordinates means it it is tied up it is tied up it is linked with the input device also with the output device also the control unit is tied up it coordinates with the input device also from the input device only it gets the data information and with to the output device only now it going to further give it so this is the only unit which ties up with the input device also output device also